Welcome, Unique Ways. You can display summer party food and drink. Special events planner Sebastian Sentner is here with us. Thank you. Three very cost-effective ways to do this. And I, I want to look, look at you with uh, drills and stuff like that. What I know. Happened? I'm actually going to try and look handy. Yeah. <laughs> and not let's, hurt myself. Let's talk about this bar cart that you're going to make. So basically what we're trying to show wow. you is different ways that you can, you know in our food displays, a lot of the stuff we do for our business, we yeah. build everything. So we want to have something really custom and different. So we're going to show you some ideas for home okay. that you can do really inexpensive for summer entertaining. So first of all, a bar cart. So bar carts are great. As you know, um, you can buy them for the house, et cetera. But when you're using outdoor, you either have to start moving it in or and out each time, or the outdoor bar carts are generally kind of expensive. So yes. this is a really inexpensive way to build one. Okay. So what I've got here is these are crates from Home Depot. They're already pre-built, so the crates are easy. That's way beyond my level of expertise. So I had to buy those, okay? Yeah. And then all I did was stack them, put a little bit of siding together like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think Paul's on after me. He's probably going to have to fix all this. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then just put in a couple of screws. Yeah. Look, I actually look like I know what I'm doing here. You, uh, you do, though. I'm telling you, really impressed. I know. Well, you know Sheila, she's, you should see our garage right now. I've destroyed it building this. But anyways, okay. so this is our cart. And what we're going to do is we're going to add it onto this little wooden frame that I have here. Did you make that wooden I frame? I did not make that wooden frame. That I bought. But here's the cool thing. Oh, you Hold, bought that. So I bought easy. that. That's Done. beyond my level of expertise. Sure, okay. That's way beyond. But what I also did, this is like the pièce de résistance. I'm so impressed with myself. Paul's backstage saying, no, 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 no. <laughs> So we're going to add those in. Oh, See? Clever. Exactly. Clever. Now, we're all set. I can put all my booze in here. Got you. Okay. Going to do this. A little bit of scotch. Someone's going, I'm going to put that in my condo. Yeah, I'm not putting it in the back. I have a feeling that this was more full That's when I so started. good. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And even our red okay, wine. Okay, that's great. Hey. There we go. <laughs> okay. Super good. That's number one. So. Okay. Let's get rid of that for a second. Okay. okay. And now. By the way, this is all the leftover wood from like the four, first four times I tried to build this. <laughs> but we have a use for it later. And one of the other things you'll notice is it's all unfinished wood. And there's yes. a reason for that as well. Okay, we're gonna talk about that in a second. What are okay. you doing next? Food displays. Yeah. So you know how I always love to do a presentation that's a little bit different and yes. sort of catches your attention. Yes, for sure. So what I did here was really, really simple. We just took a two by four. It's literally just a two by four. That's it. We had them cut it in half at the store. A lot of this cutting I actually had Put a done. line in the middle. Put a line. Marked yeah. it every two inches. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And again, reminder, if you notice, no saws. I got them to cut everything for me. Yeah. If you know what you're doing, you can do the cuts at home. But you can have them do it for you, too. Yeah, generally, okay. I just stay away from electric mm -hmm. saws. And then what I'm going to do is do a few of these. I am very proud of Sebastian. Okay, there we go. I'll make okay. a mess. Okay. And then when we do our displays. Oh boy, what are you doing here? You want to help me here? Sure. Here, pass Can I put those in there? Absolutely. Go for okay. it. We're going to do every second one. Every second one? Can I put the tomato go in the middle? It. Here you go. Okay. There we go. And basically, instead of presenting them on a tray or anything, That's funny. we're basically going to do this. And it gives us this really cool way to do. No, that's enough. Your tray displays. Oh, okay. Or you can eat them. So, again, the idea is, is that these are all things that you normally present in other ways, but we're showing you a way to do it that's great for outdoors. Um, basically, all the stuff's unfinished wood, so you can use it for other things later. The tomato and the prosciutto <laughs> is fantastic. Nothing else to that. Nothing and the melon the and the prosci prosciutto. Good. Delish. Okay, go to the next one. Okay, so... I'm enjoying today's show so You're going to probably wonder, what do I do with all the extra wood? Right given on. That, so normally, right. if you buy the crates and you buy all these stuff you see here, yeah. I built both the fork displays as well as the bar cart, and I think I spent less than $100. Awesome. Right? Awesome. Maybe closer to 150 because I cut so you many pieces. You made a couple of mistakes. Okay, made a couple of mistakes, <laughs> but understand. it should only cost you about $100. Right. But with all the offcuts and everything, I thought, well, what can we do with that? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to show you here is how to do a s'more station for the backyard. Okay. Okay? Sure. So normally it would look like this. It's a galvanized steel pail. And what we've done is we've filled it first with charcoal, then a little bit of kindling. You can also use four normal logs mm -hmm. if it's a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Put a little bit of uh, lighter fluid on it. And then you light it up, and it turns into like a little bonfire. But it's really safe because it's contained. It's easy to turn off. Now, I couldn't light this in studio because I'd probably burn the place down. <laughs> so we did a mini version for you. Okay. And so what we did here is this is a miniature version, but we set up the display the same way. So it's like a self-serve s'more station. 
and we showed you two ways you can do this. One is more like a buffet, mm -hmm. where you come up and you pick your marshmallows and you pick everything you build it, or these cute little things where they're little galvanized steel buckets that everybody can actually take come their own on. and put it together and make a s'more. That's so cute. Can I make you a s'more? Yeah, but what is that? These are marshmallows as well. So these are standard marshmallows that you can buy. <laughs> These are regular marshmallows, the ones we buy That's at stores, right? That's the one I recognize, right? yeah. These are like entertainment marshmallows. So these are lemon and strawberry marshmallows. Can you we, buy them? Or you don't you can't buy them, but honestly, you can look for the recipes online. To make marshmallows yourself is super easy, and you basically add a little bit of um, either uh, flavor or essence or whatever you want, and you get these great flavors as right, well. Right, So, oh, there we look go. Look at that on... That's so cute! Okay, so we're, there we go. Uh -huh. Normally, we're going to burn it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Uh -huh. Then what I'm going to do is, do you want chocolate? Yes. Yes, yes, that was, <laughs> yes. So I'm gonna actually dip it in the chocolate sure. here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we did melted chocolate. It just makes it a little bit easier, but we did have the actual chocolate chunks as well. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna put this here. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna watch Marilyn get really messy eating this. <laughs> oh, that looks good. There you go. Thank you. And it, Canadian classic, perfect for the summer. Oh, read, the, yes. read the teleprompter. Thanks, Sebastian. Throw to break. Okay, we'll be right back.